So given what we already know, can we then sketch a curve that looks like y equals x minus 3 squared minus 2? Okay, so this is firstly the first outright bit of sketching uh, that really we've been asked to do. Okay, and what you need to think about is, right, what format is it in? It is currently in completed square format. Okay, you could see this therefore as a translation of y equals x squared to this so that the x has been replaced with x minus 3 and the y has been replaced with y plus 2 because if you add 2 to both sides you can therefore see that it's y plus 2. So that means that this curve has a vertex at 3 minus 2. Remember what is inside the bracket changes sign so it becomes positive rather than negative but the, out, the term outside the bracket uh, remains the same. So it now goes through 3 minus 2. So what we can say is that this curve goes through 3 minus 2, which is about there. The next thing to do is to figure out where it crosses the y-axis. So you need to multiply out the brackets. So we're going to get x squared. We're going to get minus 3x take away 3x, that's minus 6x. Then we're going to get minus 3 times minus 3 is plus, is plus, uh, positive 9. Take away 2 is plus 7. Okay, so you know therefore that it crosses the y-axis at plus 7. So the curve looks something like this. Okay, now because it's a sketch, it doesn't need to be uh, to scale. Okay, so don't worry about that. It just needs to be of the correct shape. Uh, it needs to have its line of symmetry. Okay, as best you can. So the line of symmetry, you could uh, have has an equation of x equals three. Okay, and it needs to cross the y-axis. You need to label it correctly. Okay, so that is an effective sketch of this curve.